Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the complete guide to using standby mode on the new iPhone 15 on iOS 17. So to use the standby mode, first we need to turn it on. So here first, let's go back to your home screen. And from the home screen, tap on settings. In settings, we go down and you should be able to see a new feature called standby. Tap on that and you'll be able to go in here and switch on or switch off standby. So to use standby, tap on it to switch it on. Now I said here, standby will turn on when iPhone is placed on its side while charging to show information like widgets, photo frames or clocks. Okay, so we can switch it on and off. The next option is the display. So here you can set it to turn off this uh, to turn the display off automatically after 20 seconds or never. So if at night time you want to have your standby mode to show the clock on all the time, then you would want to select never. And it says here when set to automatically, the display will intelligently turn off when iPhone uh, is not in use and the room is dark. So for example, if you're going to sleep and the room is dark and the room is dark and you are not using it, then the phone will automatically switch off. So you might want to select never, so it will never turn off no matter what the circumstances are. Okay, another one here is the night mode. So if we select never, uh, this option is uh, disabled. So if you choose um, automatic, uh, this option becomes uh, enabled. So you can switch it off or turn it on. Standby displays with a red tint in low ambient lighting. Okay, so those are the settings that you can switch it on or off in settings. Okay, so once it is turned on, what you can do is we can, um, there are, um, sorry, let's go through some other options as well while we're here. So we got notifications. So when standby mode is on, you can choose to show or hide notifications. So here, if you choose to turn off notifications in standby mode, uh, your phone still uh, display critical information about um, your device uh, when it receives notifications. So here's a critical notifications will still be shown in standby if this is uh, if this switch is off. All right, so you can choose to turn on or off. And lastly, in this uh, settings is the show preview on uh, tap only. So standby can hide the preview of notification until you tap on it. So you can choose to show the, pre um, the preview of your notifications or you can choose to hide it. All right, so that is all the settings in here. And let's go back to your home screen. And what you can do is we can, we're going to switch off the phone and put it on a charger. I have a wireless charger here, so I don't need to plug it into your, my cable. So, okay, so it is now uh, on a charger. And you can see if I lock my screen, all right, if I lock my screen, then the phone will go into standby mode and it will display a clock. To change the clock style, you want to touch and hold on that. And in here, um, you can change the clock style by simply swiping uh, up and down. So these are the different clock style that you can change. Now, before we want to go into the customization of your clock, uh, I want to uh, mention that you can swipe across. So you, if you swipe across, there are three different layout. So here you got a two layout. So you got the clock on the left hand side and then another widget panel on the right hand side. In here, if you touch and hold onto that, you'll be able to switch to a different widget. So here you got um, location, weather, uh, you got calendar, reminders, new note, and so on. So there are a lot of different uh, widgets that you can uh, switch between and you can add in additional new widgets. If you want to add in new widget, just simply tap on the add button at the top. In here, you can use the search widgets uh, feature to search for widgets, or you can uh, swipe up, just scroll down and see what uh, what other widgets are available. So here you got App Store, Batteries, Books, Calendar, and then you got Clock, Contacts. So there are a lot of uh, different widgets uh, which you can scroll down and browse through it. 
if I tap on other, there are other widgets as well. So let's say if you want to add in a um, new widget, you can tap on that and then tap on add widget. And then you can select the new widget. And then in here you can choose topic. So you can uh, go through the topic. This uh, information can be added through your new uh, widget app. So at the moment there is nothing. So I'm going to cancel and then tap on back. And then here you can choose smart rotate on or off. And then you can also turn on or turn off widget suggestions. Right, I'm going to switch that on as well. And then we tap on done. So here this layout with this uh, first layout, you've got the clock on the left and then the news on the right hand side. Over here, we can also change the widget. So touch and hold on that. And then from here, you can change the widget on the left hand side as well. So here we've got a stock widget, yeah, another clock uh, style. And if uh, you want to add in more widgets, you can tap on the add button at the top. Again, it is uh, the same thing. You scroll down and then you select a widget that you would like to use. Here, let's say I want to use a podcast widget. I tap on that and then tap on add widget. And then again, you can swipe up and down and choose a widget that we have added. Then tap on done. All right, so that is uh, the first layout. If you swipe left, then you've got the second layout, which is the photos uh, layout. So touch and hold on your photo widget on your in standby mode. This will allow you to switch between different albums. So in here, tap on the add button and this will allow you to choose a different album. So here are in my uh, photo albums. I've got garden, uh, IT jungles, slideshow and snapseed. Now I don't have a lot of albums in my on my phone because this is my test device but in your device on your iPhone you will notice you have a lot more albums than I do so go in here and select the album that you want to use and then from here you can see I added an, an extra album if there are too many albums in here you can also tap on the remove button to remove an album that you don't that you no longer use all right so here we've got the garden album we tap on that and that is the second layout is your photos um, widget in standby mode now swipe left again, we go to the last uh, layout, which is the clock layout. So touch and hold on that. And this is your analog clock. In here, we can choose a different style. So you can choose uh, this analog uh, clock. Uh, you got here, you got digital, and then you got world clock. Go down, we've got solar clock, and then float. So different style of clock available for you to choose from. And to uh, customize the color, Tap on the white button at the bottom corner. In here, you can choose different color here. So you've got um, kind of orange, yellow, uh, green, cyan, dew color. So select the color that you would like to use and then uh, tap on the close button to close the color chooser. All right, so that's the float style. Uh, so you've got solar world clock. So if you like to display a world clock, you can tap on that. Uh, you can choose a digital or analog. So for example, if you choose digital, uh, tapping on the color picker will allow you to choose a color that you would like to use. And that's it. And at the top here is the time. Um, there's, we cannot change the date here. So at the top, we, there's the date, we cannot change it. And here we can swipe up and down to quickly uh, change the clock style uh, while you're in standby mode. And then you can swipe across to go to photos, swipe across again to go to the Jew layout. And in here, we can swipe up and down to switch between different available uh, widgets. So I think that is the old to your standby mode on the new iPhone 15 with the updated iOS 17. And that's it. Thank you for watching this uh, complete guide to standby mode uh, on the iPhone. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.